So, I'm here in the office. We're doing some stuff here. Explain what it is, what the students have, what not students. These are community members out here. And uh, they're part of my project. Well, it's a rather extensive project because the work that I'm doing is actually uh, I'm, I'm preparing for the next level, which is uh, my work as um, community development. I'm part of community development, everybody knows this. Uh, in fact, let, let, well, as you know, most of these liberation struggles, South Africa, even though just uh, uh, listen to uh, this, Chris Hedges was talking to the cat from Namibia and um, for his program On Contact out of RT Studios. Anyway, uh, he was, uh, he said, you know, when he was doing liberation, you know, he was the uh, one of those firebrands that whatever it is, then he became a finance minister and uh, I think finance minister, some kind of minister, and now he's the president of the country. Um, so he has a, and one of the things that's a challenge is, is about finance, it's, it's about the economy, it's about um, uh, the whole economic system of, of Namibia. It's the same thing for South Africa versus a bunch of other things. But what usually happens is when you behold into the International Monetary Fund, whatever, they have demands on you, it's almost like non-negotiable. And he was, uh, particularly in this particular thing, he was talking about now, the thing about the Chinese, for instance, they always look for a win-win situation. So it's a negotiation. You don't come there and tell them, they don't come there telling you what, what to do necessarily. It's a negotiation, negotiation back and forth. But with the uh, former colonial powers, you know, in current colonial powers, I should say, uh, they don't have that. That's not what, what they're doing. So it's a whole uh, uh, sort of struggle. They have they have, pl they have political power, maybe even social power. You know, or social, social things have changed. Political things looks like they've changed. But really, the economy, that's what it's all about. That controls everything. And so um, South Africa, especially, they just, they, I don't know what they're, this is some, whatever the economy, you know what I mean? Um, now the thing about, uh, talked about Zimbabwe earlier, uh, Zimbabwe, the front, one of the, uh, I look at these things, uh, I'm sort of like a, a, a skeptic for everything, but you know, the first thing that happened when they, when Mugabe moved out of the way, I say moved out of the way, uh, the England came and said, oh, we're here to help, we'll help anything, anything you want, uh, I guess. And, 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 and he put two temporary ministers, they both were into, uh, or interim ministers, they were all into, uh, they were financial kind of people. Okay, so finance is very important. Uh, so one of the things that I came across um, working with my group out of Dubaza, which you see some of them are right there, some of them are Dubaza, some people here from Alice, uh, is that they have discovered um, um, well, a thing called BitChamp, or from, from the whole Bitcoin cryptocurrency world. Now, I'm not interested in money. I know, don't, don't worry about that part. Uh, I'm really interested in the blockchain more than anything. It's the blockchain that's going to disrupt. It's the blockchain that's going to change. It's the blockchain that's going to make uh, our governments, you know, change. It's going to blockchain to make the bankers, banking system change. So I'm interested in that. Of course, the cryptocurrencies are in that, in that space. So these folks are working on uh, dealing with, with, with Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, and uh, and this thing called BitChamp, which is basically a, a pyramid scheme um, that uh, instead of staying on top of the pyramid, you sort of get kicked out when you get your, your one Bitcoin because you put in little fractions of it. When you finally get your whole Bitcoin, you get kicked out of chain, you have to sort of start all over again, you see. Okay, but I also want them to just like this, you're playing the stock market. I know about the stock market. I say I know about the stock market. I mean, I'm not interested in money there, but but I study all these things. And but think about the stock market. Everybody has to know it. When you go and first of all, you got to research it, which I've been researching anyway because of this situation. But also, you know, you have to diversify. So I'm um, so so where they have uh, Bitchamp or rather Bitcoin and, and appear in this Bitchamp like this pyramid scheme. Um, that's not really. A, it's a different kind of pyramid scheme. Um, uh, but also, there's other things happening. There's other uh, coins and tokens happening. Like there's a there's a a, a, a token. Um, I think it's a, a Vipirium. Vipirium. Yeah, Vipirium. Reggie Middleton. Yeah, he's he's into that. He started that. So I'm gonna sort of do that. And also this thing called Populous, which hasn't come online, comes on in January. So I want to deal with that. So there's it's like basically five different realities I want to, want to look at in the crypto space. I want to get into a whole lot of other stuff, you know. Now, maybe if this group, if I keep this group together and they still, they, they have to do their own research, somebody comes up with something from, you know, Indonesia, somebody comes up with something from, from, from France or whatever, you know, then, 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 then that will happen. Actually, I should say Populous comes out of the UK um, and uh, Vipirium is a uh, regibility, comes out of the US. So 
So there's a little diversity as far as countries go. So we're South Africa, so we live, deal with, you know, we're trying to deal internationally, you know. Um, so, um, so that's the thing. Uh, so we're exploring that, something I really, I'm not into money. I mean, when I say I'm not into money, I'm not, I can't get into it. But the point is, uh, I respect it, whatever have you, but I, it's not, it's not my thing. But now I'm forced to, to deal with it, uh, as far as legacy goes and whatever have you. So, 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 so we'll see, we'll see what happens. So that's what uh, that's what this is about. So if you can, um, like I said, I'm not interested in the, the, the coinage, the, the currency part of it, the token part of it. I'm really interested in the blockchain and how that's going to change the, the way we are governing everything, everything like that. Because as you may or may not know, this whole thing about the blockchain uh, and all these cryptocurrencies means that you're you are sovereign unto yourself. You're your own banker. You're your own government, in, in other words, like that. So it's it's quite interesting. Uh, how this is working, how and, and how this, my little test group here is gonna gonna deal with this. So, uh, just to let you know that that's what I'm up to in, in, in my studies. Uh, I guess it would be a dispatch. Now, this is my study, so I can't make it a T from the past and take the train to Tibet. I have to make this, this is just me, Anthony, the student, uh, postgraduate student here at the University of Florida.